Celebrating a century, a Lane County man born and raised here is turning 100 this weekend. You got to ask, what is his secret to living a long life? KZI 9 News anchor Sean Quayer introduces us to Carol Fountain. High up on a hill in the McKenzie River Valley, you won't find city sounds. It's peaceful. Horses roam free. It's just the way Carol Fountain envisioned his life on the mountain he was born on a century ago. Every morning he wakes up and gets to work, gathering wood. I was always busy. I guess that's about it, you know. Loading it up piece by piece. He drives it to his house, brings it in, stokes the fire, and then, with the company of his faithful dog, Sophie and Kit, he sits and enjoys the warmth. Well, I've had a good one. It all started January 19, 1913. Carol D. Fountain came into the world weighing 13 pounds, a big baby and a cute one at that. This is Dad's cup from being the prettiest baby in Lane County. A cup and a coin, one of many tokens he would go on to earn. Breaking horses is one of Carol's many talents. He spent his early years in Druzy as a buckaroo, later a logger and a rancher who faced a couple close calls. Lady Luck has a lot to do with all these things, you know. Somehow he always managed to escape danger. Carol got married in 1935 to Ethel Current and had three sons and daughter Pam, who's amazed at his tenacity. Always gets up early. He does things to keep himself busy. He hasn't been able to the last couple of years quite as much, but he still gets out. Still tending to his orchards and raising cattle. One thing I noticed, well, he laughs a lot. Uh, well, yeah, you got to be kind of happy or, or you're going to pass away early, I think. <laughs> Laughter, staying busy, and lady luck. Those are Carol's secrets to a long life. That and simply getting out and enjoying it. In Springfield, Sean Cuellar, KZI 9 News.